We are diving into the Sea of Thieves closed beta on the PS5, and I am in the game right now. I have crossplay turned off. I am not in safer seas. We're going to be checking this game out just the way it's sort of intended, open. Uh, I booted up this morning. I have it linked to my Microsoft account, so I am going to have a lot of stuff that you don't have when you start the game. Uh, when you when you start out, you won't have like a lot of the gold and stuff that I have. You'll see up there in the corner, 184,000, all that. So I have played the game uh, quite a bit on Xbox. Uh, I will say when I turned it on today, uh, I felt like the colors were brighter than I remembered. And I also felt like there was detail further out in the distance. Like you can see the rock structure out there has a lot of detail and lighting. I don't know if they made an update in the past. I went to play it on my Xbox to compare, but I needed to download like a 90 gig update. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if they made an update recently to Sea of Thieves, and this is just benefiting from that update. I haven't played in quite a while. Um, so I don't know. I definitely felt like there was more detail further out and the colors were brighter. But that could just be that I haven't played it in a while. It could also be that they did some quality passes. It could also be that maybe they've done some stuff for the PlayStation version. I don't know. Uh, do me a favor. If you guys are in the live chat, make sure and smash that like button. Um, there will be no talk show today with Mike. It'll just be some gameplay. Uh, and then we will hang out with, uh, with VIPs. And then don't forget, tonight is Friday. We'll play a Rage game tonight uh madam and i will play a rage game tonight i was actually really tempted to play sea of thieves with her tonight and to bump the rage game to next week like we'll still do it obviously but um this is obviously relevant today so i thought it might make more sense to play this tonight is lono um high already <laughs> something's off with lono uh, there's nothing off with me. I just, I don't know. Again, I, I could be imagining things. Does the PlayStation 5 version look better? I don't know. I was trying to update my Xbox version to compare. I just, I, th those, th the rocks out there in the distance, I don't remember being able to see dis a detail at that length. I always thought those things were like, basically just shapes that far out. Um... Everything else looks basically the same. The water looks the same. Uh, the water did look clearer when I was playing earlier. Like, I don't remember being able to see straight down into the water. Um, this is this looks roughly the same to me as it always did. I don't know. It could have been my TV and HDR, you know? I don't know if I ever played Sea of Thieves all that much on the new TV. I remember I booted up a long time ago to test out the 120 hertz mode. So let's grab just some quests here just to do something, just to kind of test it out, see how the game feels. Um, we'll uh, Lone Cove stash. Yeah, sure. Let's grab that. Yo, Han shot first and so did you. Darius Ward with the first gifted member of the day, man. Thank you so, so much. I'll, uh, I'll get the goal up. You guys are going to have to go kind of crazy today if you want to hit that 2,500 for the week goal that we set. We're going to need like, I don't even know, 200 something. Uh, take map. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. And it looks like you can take five maps per day. So I've not played the game since they made some of these changes. So we'll try to take like one of each of these uh types these are volcanic planet uh islands i'm sorry planets okay yo good to see you in the house feed contrast seems like it's very dark the lighting may be off i don't the contrast looks fine to me i mean the sun is setting so maybe that's why when you first turn the game on and come in i mean it is bright yo and a five bomb from sneaky wolf on the member count he says i believe we can hit it let's get started thank you so much guys do me a favor and quickly let's get that like count up we don't do gameplay all that often on the channel and uh definitely wanted to check this one out okay so i believe you go to quests 
And then you go to that. There we go. Yo, terminal stupidity with a five bomb. He throws in and helps out and takes us to 11. It's a great day to gift members, man. There's a madam stream tonight. Okay, so we're looking for that. Now, they did give me the names of these. Um, I think there's. I think the first one's like right there. Yeah, yeah, Lone Cove. Right, right there. Okay, so we just need to go uh, to the east, slightly northeast. What's this? Read Captain Briggsy's note. Oh, that's a quest from Captain Briggsy. That must be something new. I'm not familiar with that. All right, so we're going to want to go that way. And it's getting dark. And it's starting to storm. So we'll see if we can we can have a a smooth sail here. Oh, look at that. That looks so good with the water. I've always loved the water in Sea of Thieves. One of like the I I've always maintained that that's that's the selling point of this game is the sailing. The sailing just feels really, really good. No, we need to go a little bit sharper to the east. Thank you again, uh, the Terminal Stupidity, as well as Sneaky Wolf for gifting those members. What's good, Abe? Good to see you. Where's our wind going? We got a big crosswind. Oops. All right, we'll go around this uh, rock formation here. Any differences from the Xbox version so far? I don't think so. Uh, the colors were really bright, and the distance seemed like more detailed. But that could have been an update they did a while ago. I tried to play it on my Xbox, but it needed like a 90 gig update. So I didn't get a chance to do a great comparison. But I did take some pictures. Makes me wonder how long Microsoft and PlayStation 5 dev kits for the Xbox games have been available. Sound design's incredible. Commentary on the DualSense. I don't really feel anything yet. Like if I do this. Oh no, I can. I can feel slight little, little like bumps as I'm turning it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, little slight bumps when I'm turning the wheel. That's probably normal. I'm also getting bumps, I think, from some of the bigger waves. Maybe. Alright, where are we trying to go? Oh, it's right there on our right. That's where we want to be. It looks very dark. I mean, it is dark. It's dark out. The sun is down. For me, the game looks rough, like it's not 1080. Camera looks normal. I mean, it's not a... Oops, 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 oops. We need the we need the sun to come up. That'll help a little bit. It's not a game like the detail of the items in the game. It's an art it's an art style thing. What the frick is that? Oh, it's hurting me. Am I supposed to sh I don't understand what... That's super spooky and it hurts me when I get close to... I hear a snake. Trident of the Dark Tides. What is going on? I've not played this game in so long, homies. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Oh, 
What the frick? This is like a weapon. That's a mermaid statue. You get gems if you destroy it. I don't... I'm not... I'm having a hard time hitting it. How do you destroy it? It does look very dark. Uh, let me see if I can adjust the settings. You guys keep remarking on it. Um... Okay, that's a little too bright for nighttime. So let's turn that, that now that we've got it all the way up. Oh, uh, where was I? Okay, video settings. We'll go to like a... Okay, that's still a little too much. Let's bring it down just a bit more. Okay, is that better? Oh, it is cracking. Holy crap, that's cool. And the last time I played this game, I don't think any of this was going on. Oh, that's so awesome. How do I pick that up? Oh, you have to hit B to put that down. Okay. There's skelly men. We gotta put this on the boat. Drop the staff. I thought it was a weapon that I could like cycle through. Hang on, a $5 super chat tip. Shoot the mermaid with the blunder buster until it breaks and collect the red gem. Okay, so we got ourselves a red gem. We're gonna wanna hide this down in here. And uh... Definitely want to get the water out of here. I'm assuming that was from the rain. All right. So is that bright enough for you guys? Is that better? Everybody was everybody was saying it was too dark. Is that that might be a bit better for you? Okay. Okay. Um. So let's go back to the map. Let's take a peek. See here. So we want the southern. The southern des the southern beach, I should say, and then there's like a sort of like a southwestern beach. So let's get out our trusty, trusty compass here. So, yep, yeah, we should be able to go this way. Holy! F Man, it, it, he's like, homie's up there sniping me. They won't come down and ju they won't jump down, it seems. Yo, a single gifted from Stone Spire takes us to 12 members on the day. Thank you so much, sir. Ouch. He's a freaking pig. I'm going to run out of bullets really fast. Give me all this. Hang on. Hang on.
We gotta we gotta take all of the food that we can. It's our only source. You fancy yourself a crack shot? What's it like hunting bounties? How's island life treating you? you yeah, I'm not interested in talking to you. Oh, ammo pouch. Oh, excellent. No, I don't care about bait. Up, oh, up. Oh. Another player. ADZ is a god. Captain by Darren. How goes it, Darren? He may or may not come this way. Okay, so if we take a peek here, it's in between the two rocks. So it's not quite I think this is the south I think this is the southwestern beach. Which means that the treasure is like right here. It's like No. Maybe I'm wrong. be three yeah yeah there's your three trees oh it looks like it's closer to here hmm so that is that new That was like a visual cue on the ground. Yo, can we get 12 more likes on the video? Let's get our first 100 likes, guys. All right, let's get the castaway chest and take it back. See if these the house fly that won't die. I've always wanted this game. I've always just wanted the PvE mode. Do you see how bright the colors are? I don't remember it being like this. Maybe I just haven't played in a while. I don't know if they did an update. The colors are crazy bright. I always remember the game being really, really good looking. Like, I always thought it was a really pretty game. So, I don't know. I think that other player is still out there. Let's check and see. Where did he go? Two spot from Rich Rod. Yeah, he's there. So he has stopped at that. I yep, he stopped there. Any unique haptics? It felt like it was doing something. Um, whenever I was like turning the the sails or turning the wheel, those are African cichlids. I don't remember. At least that's what they're. At least it seems that's what they're modeled after. African cichlids are, are, uh, are freshwater fish, though. I want to see Xbox Studio start screen on your PS5. Thanks for the two spot. Yeah, I'm not rebooting the game for that. He wants to plunder your booty. I sure hope not. We'll obviously have to see if, uh, if people are going to, you know mess with you or and another gifted member comes in from stone spire takes us to 13 members on the day thank you so much stone spire the man shoot that's a boss
All right, we got him. Oh. Hang on a minute. We got some skeleton orders. Gold pouch, ammo pouch. Hey, Angry Pete gives a member and takes us to 14 members on the day. Thank you so much, Angry Pete. We'll have to come back for that. We'll have to come back for that. All right, there might be more skellies that come up, so we need to get some more food. Oh, there he is. If my memory serves me correct, it was down here, but I'm wondering, are the visual cues new for the, uh, for the treasure? So it should be between these two rocky areas over here. Yeah, look, there's a visual cue now. I don't know when they added that, but that was never in the original game. Yo, 15 members on the day. Willie Kale tempting a 10 bomb, but he tempts a 5 bomb from Skatenator and takes us to 20 members. Thank you so, so much. Hey. I don't know what these fireworks are for, but we'll take them. Okay, so that should clear out that map, right? Yeah, okay, so now that map's down there. Okay, excellent, excellent. I've always enjoyed the content loop in Sea of Thieves. Like, there's just something about going to the island, looking for the stuff, fighting the skelly men. I've always liked it. I just don't like... I've never been a fan of the PvP side of it. How many? How many? How many? Yo, and a five comes in from Siege Master. Thank you so much. Now I owe you guys five. I'll do it right away. We got a bit of a brief pause. I saw that shadow and I thought somebody was jumping at me. I owe you guys five. I'm going to do it right away. Abe does five and takes us to 30. We're on a bit of a five bomb member train right now. That took, takes us to 30. That's Agent of Chaos. Thank you so much, Abe. Tempting a 20 bomb to 50. You guys are the best, man. And then two more coming in. One from Abe. And then one from Zinthos. Good to see you, Zinthos. Want to make sure you get your greeting. <laughs> Wait, where'd the skull go? Those pigs keep freaking me out. Oh, we were over here when we got the skull, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were over in this area. Yeah. Okay, we got it. All right, let's go back to our boat. I got to investigate what this sound is, though. Do you guys hear that? Ooh. There's something right there. Hang on a second. I don't know what that is. I, there's new, there's stuff in the game that I don't recognize. Oh. Yo, a single gift that comes in from Magic Dolphin. Perfect name for today. Thank you so much, sir. Can't get too close. Can't get too close. Okay, there was a there was an ammo crate up there before we jumped in the water. We're going to need that. 
This blows away Helldivers. <laughs> Shut up. Here we go, here we go. All right, let's take this back to the boat. Let's hope. Let's hope we don't get attacked or or sunk at this point. How's haptics? The haptics feel good. Um, I noticed them a teeny bit whenever I was sailing. It was a nice touch. It was a very subtle little little pulse whenever I would turn something or move something. It felt good. Thank you guys for over 100 likes already as well. Thank you for already 33 members on the day. If you got a gifted membership and you want to be a part of the stream this evening around 8 p.m. Eastern, my wife and I do a stream on Friday nights. We might actually play this and bump the rage game. I don't know. I think watching her and I play this would be more entertaining than a rage game. But I'll, I'll let you guys decide. I'll let the members decide. Since it's your show, you're paying for it. Why are the enemy so weak? Um, it depends on the enemies you're fighting. The standard skelly men that I'm killing, I'm killing them with one charge attack. So I just know from playing the game in the past, that was always my my strategy. Uh, Joker Quinn gifts a member and takes us to 34. Thank you so much. Today is the day to push if you guys want to get that 2500 goal. We uh we need about about 200 members and we'll book it. See, so I know to charge it and then I'll I'll dash through them in one hit, right? That's I mean, they're just throwaway enemies. They're not meant to be incredibly difficult. So, that's so pretty. Look at that. This is such a good looking game. It always has been. Wife and I are going out tonight. Catch a video tomorrow morning. Okay. Rage game over the pirate game for sure. Okay. Well, the bummer about the rage game is, is we actually can't play it together. <laughs> I mean, in, unless someone can confirm that um what's it called hellstuck rage with friends the the nintendo switch seems to indicate that you can play co-op local but the steam version you cannot okay we got a good amount of stuff I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to just go right back to the outpost since we're so close to it. Right? Alright, so what we want to do is we want to go this direction. Yeah, I think the haptics feel good when you're doing stuff like this. Like, I'm feeling like the chin -tun 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 -tun. Like, it's actually pretty good. We should miss that. Yep. Okay. Is anyone played Hell Stuck on Switch? Does it have co-op? Yeah, I couldn't find any gameplay footage of anybody playing Hell Stuck Rage with Friends local. Like, online co-op doesn't help. It's like, I, I'm not going to set up two PCs in the in here to try to play with two monitors. It just, it's just, it's too difficult. There was a game that was on sale for like five bucks that I've been wanting to play with my wife too, but it's not a rage game. Um, Glitch Busters looks like such a fun game. We need to head a little bit south with our heading. Oh, there's a player over there. Same guy. 
Always sailing into the wind, chat. Always. I haven't been able to turn on my switch in like three months. It won't charge or turn on. Anyone have experienced this before? Somebody saying it's dead, having a mine. That's a bummer. Did you get your PS5 exclusive items? Oh, I don't even know. I ordered like the, I paid for like the highest one. I didn't even go look. I guess we could turn all this stuff in and look for the PlayStation exclusive stuff, like the skins or whatever. I've just always liked the, the music and the vibe of this game. Alright, hang on. We gotta find a good parking spot here. almost did it. I almost timed it. <laughs> oh, that was close. Okay. That's a little trick right there. Yeah, I know that Hell Hellstuck says that on the website, Joker Quinn. Thank you for the $5 super chat tip. But I can't get confirmation anywhere that it actually works. Like, I've never been able to get confirmation that it works. Where's the little guy to sell this to? Wait, where is he? Where's the little gold guy? I mean, I guess we can... S oh, there he is. Okay, so we come in, we take an immediate right right there. I think I'm passing a small kidney stone and hurts like an mf -er, but not don't oh not go to the ER. Yeah, that's not fun. This is always the worst part if there's lots of people around. You're like, I'm gonna get killed trying to sell my stuff. thousand for each of, for that one I wasn't bad I didn't even see what the other one was worth I wasn't looking you can sell gems to any of the emissaries yeah but I'm trying to raise my reputation with that guy specifically because I think it's like my highest one where's hilly when you need him I know I need somebody to help me offload this stuff best way to pass a kidney stone is I don't even know. A six pack and just power through. Oh no. Take it to the Order of Souls Pavilion. It's the duh. Isn't it the lady with like the crying eyes? Where is she? I always forget. Oh, there we go. She's usually in the bottom of this building, isn't she?
frickin' terrifying. How do you get kidney stone? Just don't get them to begin with. Is this my boat? It's moving. It's turning. All right. Last one. Fred and Fred, what about this game? Challenging co-op platformer from Apogee. Hang on, let me take a look at that. Wait, where did we go? Okay, here it is. See, I have, like, I have the highest rank with this guy. Will only be available with the vantage chest drop. So I have to hit 35 to get the to get the next rank with this guy. That's like my highest rank is the gold hoarders. Disclaimer: All medical advice is drink a six pack and power through. This is not a guarantee. That's pretty much it. Like that's that's just the way to go. You know, you got a headache. You know, is your leg broken? You know, just drink a six pack, power through. Gosh, this is just such a pretty game. All right, we need some supplies. Well, we have supplies on our boat. Oh, yeah, we were going to check. Um, Oh, we can check that on the boat. Let's check and see what kind of uh, decorative items we've got from doing the old deluxe edition or whatever. Guys, thanks so much. 146 likes already. Let's go for 200 likes. And we got 34 members on the day as well. Thank you so much for that. Oh, we're we're full on food. Okay. Okay, let's take a peek here. Um, clothing. Can anybody remember what it was that we got for pre-ordering? I still don't understand why this game doesn't allow you to go third person. You spend all this time making yourself look cool, and then you can't see yourself. You know? I don't know if I have the items... I don't know if they... I don't remember what their names were. I feel like everything I have right now, I already had. <sighs> yeah, you get third person when you emote. But that's always been my thought is... How do you... Like... I feel like the game is begging for me to run around like that. I feel like the aiming and the combat, I feel like all of it would feel so good in third person. Pick them up at the store. All right, let's go check the store. Claim. Claim promotion. I don't think this is it. This is something else. Okay. That opens up new voyages. All right. I, I can't see what it says down there. Okay, level 20. Okay, so we didn't get anything with them. I thought maybe one of these would give us the title. Thanks for stopping by, says I. Customization for the ship. Oh, that's awesome. Um, items that I own. 
Inky Kraken flag. Shark Hunter figurehead. Sea Dog sails. Oh, man. Let's get... Let, let, no. No. Okay, so how do I equip them? Ring the bell to say farewell. Oh, you do it in here. Yeah, we want the shark up there. We want the ship to be black. Uh, we want we want red sails and Yeah, that's pretty that's good. I don't have any of this. Oh, yeah. We look great now. Loan of the actual store like the one you walk into on the island. Okay. I wasn't sure if any of the NPCs had anything for me, though. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. It was humming like a little tune. Ah, my favorite customer. All right. Doesn't seem to be anything in here that I can claim. Right? Here, let's go. Items that I own. Kraken Cutlass. I don't remember getting the Kraken stuff. The Kraken Flag and the Kraken Sword. I don't remember getting that. I remember getting the Ocean Crawler. And then I remember getting this red one. Is any of the Kraken stuff, is that stuff that I was supposed to get? I can't remember the name of the stuff that they gave us. Ah, a new customer. Online MVP comes in with a 10 bomb and takes us to 44 members. He's like, come on, boys. 2,500's within reach. Let's get it. Um, Grand Admiral... Tankard of the Ashen Dragon? I s it oh, it's the red ones chained out? Okay, hang on. My, how fine you look today. Admiral Eye of Reach, ceremonial admirable pistol, unlocked by reaching reputation 48. Are you sure? Rogue Sea Dog. Is in the chest morning. outside the shop. Mm -mm. There doesn't seem to be any like here, come claim your stuff. Yo, a single from Stone Stone Spire tempting us, tempting somebody with a five bomb to 50, and then I'll owe five more. Open the vanity chest. It might not be in the game yet. You know, it might not be in the game. Costumes. It looks really bright now. It is really bright. I told you guys, it's like the colors were just blazing when I first turned the game on. Oh no, I know how to change my cosmetics. We were looking to see where the stuff... the frick? Oh. What's up, dog?
I didn't see the pre-order stuff when I logged on earlier. Check your weapons. Here, I, I just I just did it. I'll do it again. Oh, I love how the boat looks when you change it. That's awesome. Oh, let's check the wheel. Okay, it's pretty much the same. Still looks nice. So if I come down here to clothing... Oh no, the weapons are up here. Um... Do we, do we know the name that I'm looking for? Revenge of the Silver Blade. Pistol of the Sunken Sorrow. I think I had all this stuff. I don't know about the m m Mercenary Pistol, though. That I don't know about. Oh, here, hang on. This is what you get. Um... Dark Warsmith ship set and costume. Dark Warsmith. That's what we're looking for. Uh, Ocean Crawler cosmetics. Ocean Crawler. I See, I already had the Ocean Crawler cutlass, so that might be why. I know for a fact I had this. So ocean crawler, I definitely already had a shrouded ghost but blunderbust. No, I don't have the shrouded bl blunderbust. So I don't. Yeah, I don't have the stuff yet. The dark warsmith ship set and costume. Like I definitely don't have that. You're getting an error for matchmaking. Okay, the only thing you could try, Reddit, that I used, I felt like I got in faster when I did this. When you're not in, when you're not trying to connect or anything yet, go into settings, go to matchmaking, and turn off crossplay. See if that helps. I, I got in faster when I did that. You're being trolled? No, nobody's trolling. I just looked at the actual listing on the storefront. Those are the things I'm supposed to have. People were just suggesting things, you know. People were just suggesting where to find them. Nobody was trolling me. Is the game trash? No, no. I've always liked the game. I just always wanted to play it PvE. Okay, so, next quest. We're looking at, uh, foot. That looks like a foot. Does it say the name on the map? It said the name when we got them. There it is. Salty Sands. Yeah, it doesn't say the name anywhere. It said it when we got there. All right, so that means we're going... We're going north. To Narnia in the north. Okay, so that's behind us. Alright. There is a PvE mode? Well, Safer Seas is not really a PvE mode, though. What Safer Seas is, is it's basically like a, a tutorial mode. And you can't really advance everything like normal. It's basically completely stripped down. Earn rates are stripped down. Everything is stripped down. Oh. Hang on a minute. Where's the hole? Where did it put the hole? Oh, there it is. There we go. Good as new.
I'm telling you, the sailing aspect of this game is just always so enjoyable. I thought you could get all vendors to 50. I mean, I, you can get a bunch of them to... F I thought it was 40. It, every All of your earn rates are nerfed, though. Your gold earn rates nerfed. Your XP earn rates nerfed. Yeah, I, I, Hashish, I know how to control the boat. I've been doing this. I, I, you know, you can see all my money at the top. I've played the game quite a bit. I just scraped the side of the dock. I mean, I didn't, you know. I know all the tricks to slowing the boat and trying not to hit stuff. Yo, Rissick! With a single gift that takes us to 46 members on the day. My man. Like, this right here is where... I, like, I would play this on a regular basis with my wife if we could just boot up, not have to worry about getting attacked. But the, but the safer seas just doesn't sound appealing with everything toned down. He knows what to do. He's just terrible at it. That's right. And a five bomb from Rissick. He comes in and takes us to 51. This guy preemptively set up his own Agents of Chaos. You love to see it. I owe you guys five members. I'll do it right away. Your wheel is not centered. Oh, well, yeah, of course it's not going to be centered. I'm steering. All right. Where's the wind? Uh, we're going into the wind. Why can't I get into the game? If you're trying to play on PlayStation 5, my advice to you is to go into your settings, scroll down to matchmaking, and turn off crossplay. See if that helps. It seems to help me get in faster. Is that where we're going? Yeah, I think that's where we're going. What the heck is going on? Why is the sky turning red? Lono's ship needs a head up this display. He keeps looking back at the map. Seems so unsafe. <laughs> hey, man. I'm monitoring what's going on. That looks awful. This is a freaking fire tornado. We're going to park this sucker right in the middle. Right in the middle, boys. Uh, it gets a little shallow. It gets a little shallow, everybody. Hold on tight. It's just a little shallow. Where's the hole? That had to have made a hole somewhere. A little, a little shallow. It's just a little, a little shallow, close, close to the water. Oh, I see it! I see the hole. Okay. Yo, tenor dude with thirty-one months, welcome back, dude. Thanks so much for doing a VIP. Yo, Skylar G, thanks for renewing your members. Wait, where's the water coming from? Is it raining? Or am I not successfully getting the water out? It must have been like bouncing back in. Okay. Five spot from Seeking Wolf. If you're down on Pirate Legend with a lot of play, a lot on Xbox, uh, I'll get the game pass on PS5. We can do Athena quests. Oh, I'm not trying to do anything like that, homie. I'm just showing the game off and saying hello to the people that come in and telling him that I got in by turn off cross play and I don't I'm not trying to take it that serious
cross me, I dare you. Oh, gosh. Who goes there? Hmm? Oh, there's a bunch of chickens. Got him. Hey, he dropped a chicken bone or, or a chicken leg. I can't get it. Or maybe I can't. Oh, I'm full. Okay. Cannonball crate. We'll take some of these. All right. Let's take a look at the map here. So the Northern Island has two in the trees, kind of-ish. So which way am I facing? Okay, so I'm on the Northern Island. We're looking for... I was looking for the... Vi oh. I was looking for the visual cues to dig, but we'll take this first. These stinking chickens, man. Go deep sea diving. Someone just hit the electric pole in front of my house. Almost hit my car in shock. Oh my gosh. Like, are you okay? Did anything else happen? Gee, many Christmas. Who the frick's talking out there? What the frick? Do you see that guy walking in the water? Is he going to board my boat? Oh, he's out there. It's a ghost. Oh, frick. That's enough of that, mister. That would have been awesome if he would have just straight up got on my boat and started attacking me. That would have been sick. If the driver was wearing a clown suit, diaper, and spilled Tim Hortons in the car, it was Trill. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Okay, so the northern island in front of, like, the grass. Right? There's, like, two grassy areas... Along the e edge, right? So is that the recessed one? So right here? Can't even dig here. I've got this all messed up. Maybe No, that's got to be... Where does it dip in? Oh, it dips in here. Okay, so that's the... Ah, there it is. Hey, Patrick with another gifted membership. Thank you so much. Taking us to 52 members on the day. Okay. 
No, I am not in safer seas. But I also have crossplay disabled. So we may end up living uh, a somewhat peaceful existence today. And 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 if we if we find anybody, we're going to try and make friends. Hang on. Oh. Yeah, I can't find any of my pre-order perks, brother. Uh, the one asking about the Ruby Viper set or whatever. I, I, I can't find it. All right, hang on. Let's check this again. It's supposed to just be like in this mix of trees. Yeah, I'm not seeing the... Number one rule, never trust a pirate. It's kind of true. Yeah, I'm not seeing a visual cue for this one. So we got the one that was there. Okay, so there's the stone. No, wait. That's the stone. So it would be over here. Huh. Well, that's the big, that's the big stone. And then there's like one tree. I'm not seeing it. How do you get your sword? I just hit triangle. Now you might have to go to your weapons chest and change what you've got equipped. Right? So the big stone, and then there's like a line of trees. Yeah, I mean, it should be right here. Okay, so there's not always a visual cue. That one did not have a visual cue. So the new... The visual cue is definitely... Definitely new. Come on out here. Come on. That's quite enough. How do I join a server? I just finished a tutorial. You got to go to play the game and go through all the options like adventure. And then pick your ship size. If you're playing on PlayStation 5 for the first time ever, go into your settings first. Scroll down to matchmaking and turn off crossplay. I feel like that speeds up matchmaking or finding a server. I just have different taste. Yeah, I mean, this game is definitely slow paced when you play it the way that I'm playing. There is more. Um, there's more extreme content that you can play, you know, more challenging. There's like um, outposts you can raid and really, you know, m more combat focused content that you can do. I'm going to go over here and pick a fight with these with these guys.
Okay. Yeah, you can do a lot of other stuff. I'm playing the game in the way that I always liked. Um, and I just like to chill, bro. I just love it. I love the sailing and just you go to the islands, you find the treasure, put the treasure on your boat, go turn it in. Like, I'm telling you, that's always been... That's always been a content loop that I have enjoyed. Okay, so... We can probably, um... Refill our gun. Okay, we're pretty far north. Okay, there's a dagger tooth outpost. So what we should do is we should see if there's anything we can do that's close by. I don't need that looks like a I don't even know. Like a flying shrimp or something. And they, they, all, all these could be further down. We might not be able to avoid the temptation. I always just want to turn stuff in immediately so that you don't get um, attacked and lose your stuff. Hmm. Right, let's see if we can find a different one. It's just a straight up circle. I mean, good luck finding that one. You know what I mean? Good luck finding that one. That's just a stinking circle. Aha! Plunder Valley. So, that'll take us past an alpha. That's way down there. All right, let's see what else we got. We've, we've done both of those. And so this one, this is one of the volcanic ones. I can't remember if those are in a specific location or not. I thought they kind of were. Yeah, they're over here in the devil's roar. Um, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. It looks, like it looks like there's a couple of them over there. That fit the description. I think that's mine, isn't it? Yeah, mine's that one, Ash and Reaches. Alright, so basically our best course of action is honestly to uh, go back to the base. Go down here. Yeah, clear all markers. All right. Southwest it is. You're now free to move about the country. All right. All right, so... Let's turn this way. And then we're going to want to... Sails all the way up. Yeah, I brought all my stuff over. The first thing it had me do was sync it with my Xbox account, my Microsoft account, and I turned on and I had all my stuff off. Oh, I had all my stuff, I mean. I turned off crossplay. I'm waiting four hours. Four hours? I got in an hour ago. Goodness gracious. I would completely reboot or something. That doesn't sound right. Oh, and if you have two people with you and you do these things at the same time, like turning the sail like that, it goes a lot faster. See you later, suckers. I stole your stuff. Yeah, this right here. This is the game at its best. 
Look at that. It's like freaking mesmerizing. I love it. We're getting we're getting good capture too. It looks good. How's our heading? A little too much to the west. Well, we've seen one player so far. And we left each other alone. Water physics are good. Yeah, when it comes to, like, if you're just wanting a game to sail around, you know, and just have that experience of manning your own boat and being out on the open water, like, I don't know, man. There's just something about Sea of Thieves. Oh, oh. Yep. He's at the, he's at the, he's at the outpost. We, no, there's two. There's two people at the outpost. One there. One there is his uh, his sails are down. One there, his sails are up. So the question is, do we risk it? Let's see what happens. We we're not in dire need of the stuff in that's in our uh, in tow. Broadside? No, 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 no. I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't strike first. I do not strike first. We are, we are a peaceful, we are a peaceful pirate. But I will defend myself. If I need to. Sails to half mast. We're coming in, boys. Ah, there he is. Okay. All right. Quickly now, quickly. This is probably worth the most. I don't know. Okay. We're going to try and turn this in. So far, so good, chat. So far, so good. Okay. There he is. Okay, here he comes. You think he he's gonna go back and hide? <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Here we go. Okay.
turn your comms on I just assumed it was on by default I mean I, I don't have my mic muted but I don't know if I'm talking in the game or not hello what why is the music so tense proximity chat That sounds bad. Okay. All right, I'm talking. There's a fight breaking out. Look, over there. Oh, that's a ghost ship. Oh, he's getting rocked. That's unfortunate. Well, folks, we've got ourselves a battle underway here off the coast, and we're going to see what happens. We got a brand new player. Sails up, fighting from a stationary position. Interesting strategy. And we got a fully armored ghost ship, and they're circling. He's gonna go sink my ship or board my ship, I bet. I just heard somebody's sword. Go save him? I'm not equipped to save him. That's a full on friggin' ghost ship, bro. If you sink my ship, I will take it personally. Ahoy oh, there, mateys. What are you doing? I don't think they can hear you from this far. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's go try and help. Let's go try and help. Shoot. Um. Wait, wait, wait. We, we have... All right, all right, all right. Let's go try to help. I don't, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get there in time. It might be over. Turn of Lono Drybeard, that's right. I don't see him. Where, the, where, where did everybody go? Remember, this place was popping two minutes ago.
Save him from the ghost ship and then sink him? We're not even going to get the opportunity. I'm not sure where everybody went. Yeah. They're all gone. Well, I know we don't want to go to the north. I hope everyone's dead. I hope you're proud. All right, I can't really remember where this place was, but I know it was south. What's that? What is that? What's that? Oh my gosh! Oh, that was awesome! Uh, Yo, dog! I do nothing to you, bro! I didn't do nothing to you, man. You need to chill, bro. I am minding my own business, sir. I will do it. I will do it. I'm doing it. I missed. You better stay back. He's circling, bro. There's treasure right there. That was cool, man. I was like, I, I've never fought one of those before. All right, we're looking for the big round one. What? What just happened? Hello? Oh, snap! No! Which way is the wind? This is bad, chat. That hit. That hit as well. What the frick is that? My gosh. Those are new mechanics. I've had a lot of your I've had enough of your crap. Shoot, 
What's going on with the audio? Oh, we're scraping up against these rocks. Yeah, the audio is not happy right now. Come on. Oh, shoot. Where's the wood? Whew. All right, let's do another check. Oh my gosh! They are relentless! Usually they give up by now. I've never had one. I have never had one follow me quite this much before. Like we've traveled a pretty far. We've traveled a pretty far distance. I can't talk to him. It's an it's an NPC. Like I've never had one do this. Like I'm no match for them. I'm I've hit them a bunch of times, but like they they shut me down with that purple. They shut me down with that purple stuff. See what I'm saying? Like, I, that mechanic is kind of frustrating. Like, I can't... I literally can't get away. Yeah, that's definitely an NPC ship. That's, that's not a... Yeah, they do those purple ones. Um, yeah, I think the purple attack's really lame. Like, it's one thing to try to fight back and to try to repair and to try to get rid of water. The fact that they can perfectly aim bot with the purple attack and then your sail goes up. Oh, that's kind of lame, bro. I just scuttled my ship hoping that maybe I could... I don't know if you can even board their ship. I don't think that's an enjoyable um, gameplay loop. Like, you literally can't get away. You almost have to have a second person with you. If you're by yourself... The amount of repairs and water I had to do, and the fact that he's able to keep shutting down my, um, 
my sails. I, I, there's nothing you can do. He's going to go underwater. In the past, in the past, whenever I would play and those guys would show up, you could just kind of keep sailing and eventually they'd leave you alone. I have never played the game and been followed to that degree. Like, I don't think that's very enjoyable. That's why I don't ever play this game for too long. Cause like, that's kind of what real players do. Like a real player that likes to sink ships. They'll do that. They'll relentlessly follow you. Now, the good thing about playing against a solo, another like real player is they can't just automatically make your sails go up. Like he made my sails go up like six different times. I was like, no, that was not a human player. That was an NPC. He, I'd never seen that purple attack before. That must be something that they added after I stopped playing. He would shoot this part of my boat and there'd be like purple on my sail length and my sails would automatically go up. And it was like, well, I, I can't do it all. I can't shoot at you, steer the ship, bail the water, put the wood up, and consistently make sure that like, oh yeah, my sail's up, I'm dead in the water. Imagine you would just spend three hours doing quests and you lost your ship. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think this game is just such a, it's just such a juxtaposition. You're not really grinding for better gear, a better boat, better weapons. You're literally grinding for cosmetics and the game is like super duper hardcore. They're called curse balls, right? Like he was cursing, he was cursing my ship so that my sail would go up and I'm like, Homie, I, I'm barely keeping the the ship afloat because their attacks are so relentless. And so it's like you're bailing, you're repairing, you're steering. I shot a couple times, and I mean, they followed me. I don't even know how far we traveled. I didn't. I should have looked at the, the, um, the map to see how far we traveled. But I think that's what really hurts the content loop in this is that if you don't boomerang like I was doing, which basically go to an island, come back, go to an island, come back, you're taking a massive amount of risk and it just doesn't feel worth it. It just doesn't feel worth it. Like you barely move. You barely move the experience meter. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I brought all that stuff back two different times. I brought uh, him first. I did him first, right? And I look at the look at the meter at the top. See the see like the, the 30? That's how much I filled it. You know? That took probably 30 to 40 minutes to do that. R roughly 30 to 40 minutes to get that much progress. Like, I didn't even level this guy one time. And then you got to go back out and do it all again. So the game inherently is already very grindy. Like, progress is already incredibly slow. And you can have what just happened to me. Like, an NPC ship shows up, won't leave you alone. You're by yourself. There's no way you're going to survive. Like, I mean, I guess a, like a really, really pro player might have survived, but... I don't play enough. I'm like, I, dude, I'm not trying to be a hardcore Sea of Thieves player. I'm just kind of, like I said earlier, I just like to chill. I just like to sail, get the, you know, get the treasure, bring it back. And if I would have had a bunch of treasure, thankfully I didn't. If I'd have had a bunch of treasure, I'd have lost all my progress. You don't get any of the progress. Now you can try and go back and find it all. But again, I've been playing for an hour and a half, and the little, little, little teeny about of progress I've made at the NPCs. And then you have the experience I just had where an NPC literally won't leave you alone. You're like, I'm not interested in fighting. That's not really what I want to do. And you get sunk and you're like, okay. Like, that's why I've always had a hard time playing this game ever. Because, like, those are the experiences you typically have. You know, and if you, if you are going to play with other people, I think two people on a sloop is probably the best combination because one person just could have stayed up top to ensure that like the sails were down every time, um, you know, as possible. I think the two man crew on a sloop like this is one of the best. I think you're fast, you're agile, you know, by yourself. This game is just really, really tough. Um, Especially if you run into PvP players. Now, we haven't really run into any PvP players. The other players we've seen haven't really... Um, they've all just kind of kept to themselves. How are you in? I got in about an hour and 45 minutes ago. Turning off crossplay seems to help. They leave if you get close to an island. I mean, I literally shipwrecked my boat on an island and they kept shooting at me. 
they didn't stop attacking until I scuttled my boat. Like, that's when they went back under the water. So, I've always felt like it's a beautiful game. It's a charming game. The content loop is so chill and relaxing. But the fact that something like that can happen, there's too many games out there I would rather play than play a game that is so slow, so grindy, and in that context, right? You got to remember that's the context of the game is that it's slow, it's grindy, all of your progress takes a super long time. The fact that that can happen, you can just completely get sidelined by another player, an NPC, and you're like, you know, and the whole like, oh, get good, it's a skill issue. I, I don't care. Like, I, why do I want to have to sweat and get good at a game that is so laid back? Like, you're actually motivated by dress up items. Like, you can make your ship look cooler and you can make your pirate look cooler, and that's basically it. I don't think those are strong enough motivators to push through all of the things that can be so um, I guess we'll call it disruptive and I got some gifted to thank Mike on the mic and two from Stone Spire thank you guys so much for taking it to 55 tempting a 20 bomb to 75 because I love the aesthetic like I love the stuff I've got on my boat like you can really make your boat look cool like I got a shark my boat's black I've got like a red sail it has a roguelike feel, and you tend to not like those either. Well, no, I think the difference with the rogue is... I don't know what's going on here. Um, I think the difference with rogues is that you tend to know what you're signing up for, right? And you kind of know, like, okay, if I play Returnal, part of the potency of Returnal is I've got a really good run, and if I die, I lose it all. Like, when I go in to fight a boss in Returnal, there's this massive amount of, like, emotional, adrenaline-like potency. And in this game, I'm like, I don't really care that much. Right? I don't really care about uh, an outfit for my pirate or a hat or a ship. It's I don't care about that enough to put up with the potential loss of time. Like, I don't lose time in Returnal if I play. I'm still working on unlocks for weapons, making them stronger, getting new items, right? So even if I die, I still achieve some sort of meta progression. And that's true of a game like Hades as well, right? Like, even if you have a run and you get to the boss and you die, there's still elements of meta progression that you get to kind of carry over. This game, you can have... Like, if my ship thank goodness I didn't but if my ship would have been full of treasure right there I wouldn't have I would have lost all that progress I would have had to try to go back to that exact spot and get all that treasure in the hopes that it's not being like farmed or camped by players or uh, the NPC now the NPC probably wouldn't do that but players will uh, they will tend to do that so that's why I've always felt like the game is so internally juxtaposed because the actual game itself, it seems like a pretty laid-back game. Um, you're grinding for cosmetics. Um, you know, and they've got these events. Like, they do so much stuff. Like, there's so much content here. It really is a great game. But it's the fact that your time... My time is incredibly valuable to me. I have such limited time to play games. I would never play a video game that said, Hey, you know what? Periodically... We're just going to delete your progress because we, we like that. We, we think that's a fun thing to do in your game. Like, I wouldn't play your game if my progress can get deleted. So, in this game, your progress can quite literally get deleted. You can, like, lose your progress because you run into a real player. Or, like, what I just did. I ran into an NPC that just, like, was obsessed with me. He just wouldn't leave me alone. And if I would have had, you know, a couple of hours worth of treasure in the boat... I would have been furious. I'd be like, you got to be kidding me. Especially, like, imagine that happens at, like, the end of your play session. It's like, it's time to go to bed. It's time for my day to be done. That's, like, the worst. That's not relaxing. That's not enjoyable. That doesn't feel like a leisure activity. It feels like somebody, like, picked on you. It's like, oh, wow. So, you know, my time's just too limited, you know? I also think they're having some sound issues with the port. I don't know what that was. 
um, when my ship was flooding with water and we were rubbing against that one rock and getting attacked. I don't know if it was too much uh, audio. Thanks for another gifted member, Mike, on the mic. I don't know if it was too much audio or something or noise pollution, but there was all kind of audio glitching going on there. So something... Um, I've never had that happen on Xbox. So the port... The port has something going on with it to where the audio um, glitched there. And I'm not quite sure what the reason was. It could have been too many audio channels at once or something. Or I don't know. It's made to play with friends. You can solo, but it's rough. Right. And I've played it with my wife. And we had a similar experience, right? You have a similar experience where we actually put a bunch of time. Our boat was full of treasure. And then the volcano basically killed us and blew our ship up and then it was like i had no way of getting back to the boat i was like i don't even remember where we were because again i'm just more casual so i'm just like trying to kind of play casually with her and we lost everything and we literally had spent i'm not kidding you, it was like two hours we found like this island and it was cool and there was like you know there was like a volcano or whatever and i didn't know that the volcano could literally kill you and sink your boat um so that was the last time we played together because again if i'm gonna play a game with my wife man i'm looking for something casual you know we tried returnal a couple of times and that too that just gets kind of stressful um also the returnal sadly allows for co-op but you can't save progress as a co-op team so then anytime we would come back she'd have to join me and she would have nothing she'd be like starting over that's kind of unfortunate that they don't let you save uh, like an actual co-op checkpoint in Returnal. That's another reason we stopped playing. It's like we're never going to get we're never going to get through you know three, four, and five biomes in in one sitting. We actually you'd have to get through three because then when you get to the fourth biome, that's like always your uh, your starting point. So. Stellar Blade's perfect for you to play. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited about uh, I'm excited about Stellar Blade. I'm still working through Rise of the Ronin. Um, I got to like 60 something percent last night. I'm at like 32 hours in Rise of the Ronin. So I've always I've always liked Sea of Thieves. I've always wanted them to give um, you know an environment where I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. That's just not the vibe of the game. They've always wanted it to feel like. At any moment, you could get attacked. At any moment, you could get sunk, either by real players or by NPCs. And, you know, I'm fine with that being their vision for the game, but that's one of the reasons why I'm always like, yeah, you know, my time's just too valuable. I, I can't gamble with my my evenings, you know? If I was not a streamer, I would not have purchased this game um, because I know how it can go. I know how you know what what we just experienced in the last hour and 45 minutes that's pretty typical of my experience in sea of thieves you know i make very little progress because the game is super grindy and then i get sunk or i get attacked and it's just like that just that content loop is uh it's just not appealing you know i'll play a chill game like that with slow progress you know if that's all i'm doing but i don't want to run the risk you know because if we would have if we would have gone and not turned our stuff in which is what a lot of people do they just kind of keep sailing then we would have lost everything seems like you had a beginner ship and went against an intermediate enemy there's no such thing as a beginner ship like you can't have like a, a stronger ship or uh or stronger weapons now you can get stronger cannonballs and stuff to put into your cannons but I was by myself. There's no such thing as a beginner ship. Like, your ship's never any stronger than mine. You could have stronger ammunition, but it's not like you could have a faster ship or stronger ship or any of those things. So, yeah, when you're by yourself, it's really hard to manage. Like, I like managing the sailing by myself. I think it's fun to monitor the wind monitor the map you know you know trying to attack so you get maximum speed but when you get attacked like that yeah it's it's really really hard by yourself um it's very tough it was sloop versus sloop no their ship was quite a bit bigger than mine it was i think it was the the medium sized ship um it at least it looked bigger than mine and uh 
the biggest problem was they kept hitting me with the cursed the purple cursed balls and so my sales kept going up so I kept stopping dead in the water and I was like yeah I can't I can't keep up with it I had no idea thanks for the info yeah so the way Sea of Thieves works is you can't actually do anything to make your ship stronger uh, or to make your weapon stronger so you can get different ammunition types for um so like you can load chain shot you can wrap it around mass and wheels okay and it tears them apart you can do firebomb okay you can like throw those at people so you can do different things but like your uh your cannons your ship's hull your ship's speed and sails is not any stronger or faster than mine now the smaller the ship you tend to go faster which was interesting like i couldn't get away from them even though i had the smaller ship but again it's an npc so they're gonna sail you know kind of perfectly and they can do what they kept doing which is they kept putting my sails up they kept hitting me with the cursed um the cursed thing so he is running a two-man ship yeah you can do a two-person this can be a two-person ship there's no such thing as a solo ship when you pick this um when you pick this size ship it's one to two players uh that's the that's the way that this that this ship is built that's whenever you first load into the game you can pick between it was a skeleton sloop slightly modified from the regular sloop however it has around 3 oh so it was the same size okay maybe that's why it was able to keep up with me cuz it was it seemed bigger just because it had the armor on it so i thought it was a larger ship than mine doggo bark and I lost 11,000 souls oh what do you oh you're playing a souls game this might be time uh, confu- uh, consuming for me too especially with other games to play why do I have so many emails like what is going on um oh my wife's doing something on Amazon if she ever uh, cancels and renews different subscribe and saves, I get like an email for every single thing. Um. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're playing Elden Ring? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Well, I think that's a good showcase of the game. You guys got to see pretty much the content loop that's been my experience for a while, which is one of the reasons why, you know... I don't like rage out and get angry anymore. I'm just like, yeah, this is pretty much what I expect, you know? It's just, it's not a loop, I feel, that is conducive to where I am in life, you know? If I could plug away at this game six or seven hours a day, it'd probably be a little bit easier to get over some of that stuff. Also, you know, if you're playing with friends, and, you know, I could, if I could play this with another person, you know, if, like, my wife and I were in a different place, and, you know, we were able to plug away six hours there or something, I could definitely see playing it, but with my limited time in the evenings, um... I just don't, I just don't have a desire. Um, let someone join. So the same is hard mode. No, I, I'm good. I, you know, like I said, I've always liked the game from a distance. Um, yeah, my kids actually have shown an interest uh, in playing the game. But the problem is, is I, number one, I think they would struggle because it's first person. They tend to do better in third-person games where they can see their character. Something about the first-person camera, they they tend to have a bit of a hard time with. So I know they would kind of struggle with that. I also know that my daughter hates games where she has to fight, so she would not like that. She would not like getting attacked and having, you know, if we lose our ship or lose our treasure, she'd get pretty irritated. They watched me play once. And I worked really hard. There was an island where they kept spawning, and there was like a signal that would blow, and like, and then more skellies would come. 
And so I fought and fought and fought, and I was it was really hard, and I kept reloading, and I, I managed it really well. Finally got to the end. I, gro- I go to grab all my treasure, and then another player shows up, sinks my boat, and I'm there's nothing I can do. I'm Now I'm stranded without a boat. Uh, and so all my hard work, it took a really, really long time, too. It was like, I want to say it was like 45 minutes to an hour of just like fighting these skellies. And so they saw me do that, and I told them, like, I didn't, I didn't, like, rage out and lose it in front of them. I told them, I said, that right there is why I really have a hard time playing this game. I was like, you can lose all your progress, everything you've been working on. One player came over and just kind of snuffed me out. You know, there wasn't anything I could do. I was on an island. It was like a, I don't know, like some kind of a raid or something. And then when I went to go board my ship, they, 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 they uh, sailed by, blew the snot out of it, sunk it, and then that was that. So, and then I think that night I tried to play with my wife. We had the experience with the volcano. And then the experience I had today is pretty normative for myself, where um, thankfully we didn't lose a ton of progress, but again, didn't make a ton either because it's just kind of a slow pro. It's just a slow game, which I think a lot of people like that about it. There's always something to work on. Um, there's always... And the clouds are getting a little see the getting a little glitchy out there in the skybox. It's like a render distance glitch. It doesn't know which version of the cloud it wants to render. Um so DLC Tall Tales for more solo co op experience. Yeah, I think the problem is is that with a game like this, to get invested, I'd I would have had to have been playing it for a while over the years or for a while recently. Um, and I'm just not invested. I've got other games I'm trying to work through and beat. I'd really like to finish Rise of the Ronin. I would really like to go back and beat Hi-Fi Rush. Uh, I was really enjoying that. I got to get ready for Stellar Blade because I want to beat that when it comes out. And with my limited time, this game's just not going to get cycled through, unfortunately. So if you're trying to play... Uh, my recommendation would be to go into your settings, go into matchmaking, and turn off crossplay. And yeah, that seems to be helping. So, yo, assume parasite. You got some good stuff there. Some Knob Creek, some Woodford Reserve. You're ready to go, bro. Is it possible for you to join my friend now? If he's on PS5, I'm on PC, or is Beta simply just going to be PS5 players? Oh no, I, I, when I first loaded up Nilla Wafer, it said that it loaded me into a, uh, a cross-platform environment. So, you, you can play Sea of Thieves as much as you want right now on, um, you can, you can talk, you, you can pretty much play right now as much as you want on PC or Xbox, and then the PS5 guys can now join you. So, uh, so you sh- they should be able to play with you. <sighs> the Tall Tales take so long from the few that I did, says Mediocre Milton. I tried the Pirates of the Caribbean Tall Tales and it was way too long and boring. I actually really liked the Pirates of the Caribbean one when I did it. Uh, I liked that. And then I also liked the... um, Oh, that's right. I forgot. You can, like, sit down. Uh, Yeah, I I liked that when I did that. And then there was something else where we went way, way down in the water. We swam way down. And there were all these various chambers that we had to beat. I thought that was pretty good content as well. I remember really enjoying that. Um, So. Let me give you guys a quick member count. Uh, We hit 56 today. And we've been pushing our way toward a new goal. You guys did hit a goal last week. We're trying to figure out if that Rage game... I always assumed it was two-player on Steam. It doesn't seem to be. It's claiming to be on Nintendo, and I don't know if I want to gamble with it. You guys are currently at 2264, so you're about 30 away from 2300 again. Um, 
So you did hit 2300 last week. So this week we will be diving in and we will be playing. Uh, I'm sorry, my wife and I will be playing tonight um, and doing a rage game for you guys. Unfortunately, we might just have to take turns with it instead of playing together, so. Is it still broken servers? I don't think the servers are broken. They have indicated on Twitter that there's just a a high volume of people trying to get in. So, that's pretty much where we are right now. So, if you're trying to get in, I encourage you to turn off matchmaking. I'm sorry, go into matchmaking and turn off crossplay. You can do that in your settings. And uh, that seems to be helping people get in. If it's taking a really long time for you to get in, I would reboot the game. Because somebody said they had been waiting for four hours. I had only been playing for about an hour. And I was like, I got in an hour ago. You shouldn't be waiting for four hours. Um, that's, that's way too high. So... Did you have to buy this? Yes, I did. I bought it. I bought like the the highest ticket one that they had. Listen, I like supporting Rare and I had no problem buying this. Even though it's not my cup of tea, it's just, it's one of those games where it's like, you know, if I was younger and could play six hours a day, I probably would have grinded this game for a while, you know, back when it was at its peak and they were adding all the content on a regular basis my season of life right now just doesn't allow for it. It's just like, I, I can't afford to throw, you know, to throw that kind of time away. Uh, it is really, really difficult, uh, this game in particular, to um, not have something like that kind of happen. It's, you know, it, it's, it, you, can have a, you can have a really rough go and you're like, yeah, I didn't make any progress or I lost progress. And I just can't afford to do that with my evenings right now. You tried for five hours with crossplay off, still not in. Well, I am sorry you can't get in. Um, you know, I did manage to get in, but there's not much else to show off. We showed off the basic gameplay, and uh, I'm setting up our weekly VIP stream right now. So if you are currently at a standard membership or a gifted membership, you're going to want to upgrade to VIP if you want to come with us. Also, don't forget that the stream tonight with Madam, when we play the Rage game... That is a, a, a paid stream. So that is designed for the people that are paying for their membership. Uh, and if you're currently at a gifted, if you're one of the lucky people that got a gifted this week, a ton of gifted members went out this week, you got to upgrade to the $6 tier. If you've enjoyed this stream and this showcase, make sure and slap that like button. We could easily hit 300 likes right now. We only need about 60 more, and there's almost 300 of you here. So we've had good viewership for this entire time, so I appreciate you guys tuning in and supporting the channel when we do uh, some gameplay. But yeah, yeah, when I log off, you'll be able to get in for sure, for sure. So, but that's, yeah, that's going to do it for me uh, in the game. Um, and I'm going to start the VIP stream here, okay? And I'll provide you guys with a link in just a second on how to get into the VIP stream. I don't know what we're going to do in VIP. Um, maybe play maybe play some Ronin or something. I'll show you guys where I am in Ronin. All right. All right, the link in chat is to VIP. It's a once a week stream we do. Just for the $10 tier and up. And then I'll set up redirect so that when this stream ends, if you're at the VIP or higher, you'll be able to come with us. Thanks so much for being a VIP or higher. We greatly appreciate you guys doing that extra support. Don't forget that tonight, Madam and I are going to do a stream every Friday night. We do that around 8 p.m. Eastern, and we'll be doing the Rage game tonight. Uh, I was thinking about doing some Sea of Thieves with her, but I think we're going to do the Rage game. I think that'll be funny. And you guys earned it, 2,300 members last week. 
This week, we didn't hit 2,500 members, so next week's another opportunity to hit 2,500 members, and that is when you make us play a game that I love on two controllers. So 2,500 for that goal, and we'll do Ghost of Tsushima. We'll see if we can't beat some duels. So I'm going to end the previous stream and bring folks over with a redirect. And that was a good stream. That actually turned out really, really well. Like.